This is the Yako fire alarm control switch, right? I tend to fit these when there are multiple detectors in a property. People who have access issues, um, are disabled, or are elderly. I find this is a much more appropriate switch. I'm not so keen on the wireless version. I know Aco do like a battery version. It's just not my favorite. I, maybe it's the spark in me, but I love having stuff hardwired, especially when it comes to fire detection and things like that. Very easy to wire up. I tend to wire Aco smokes on their own dedicated circuit. Always have done. I know some people, there is a debate, especially when you've got rental properties or council properties where they'll wire off a little light, local lighting circuit uh, so that they can't turn them off. However, for most of my jobs, they are in the private single dwelling sector. I always wire them in three core from the consumer unit. <clears throat> There's a reason for that, is that if you ever want to add another detector onto the circuit and, you, and it's closer to the consumer unit end, you've got your line neutral and your trigger you know, signal wire in the consumer unit. You can wire your three core from there. Also, you can wire one of these if you want to retrospectively, after you've wired it, you can add one of these in at the consumer unit position, which is quite a decent position. And you know, most of the time the DB is accessible and in a nice location in case anything has tripped or anything. So I'll wire a three core from the board to the switch. You can put this fire alarm control switch anywhere on the circuit. Most of the time I put it as the first one and then out, but you could put it at the end or halfway, whatever. It acts, it's almost like another detector on the circuit. So the connections are all the same, just like in the ACO bases. You've got your line conductor, you've got your neutral, you've got your earth, and you've got your trigger, your interconnecting wire. So three core goes in, three core goes out, easy. And the interconnecting wire doesn't need to be sleeved with brown it's not a switch wire, it's a trigger wire, it's different, it's not the same voltage. And how these work, you've got test alarm, which is a regular switch, and when you flick the switch, all the alarms go into trigger, you know, get triggered. And so it means you can walk around and check they're all sounding, and then you just flick it off to stop the test. It's also got the silence alarm function, so you know, when an alarm's been triggered and you press the hush button, this does the same as the hush button. So this is just do it remotely. And then you have, I think it's like 10 minutes or something before then the device goes back into a, it does a little retest. And if whatever's there initially triggered the detector, if it's still there, it will go off again. But if not, I think it does, does a beep and then goes back into normal, normal operation. The final switch, which is another retractive switch, is locate alarm. Now locate alarm is a really handy feature, especially when you've got multiple floors and lots of detectors. If an alarm has been triggered and you've got a few floors and loads of detectors, you click, you press this switch, locate alarm, and all the detectors that have not been triggered will go silent. And the one that has been triggered will stay sounding. So it means you can locate that detector quicker. Like I said before, I love this model. I love this version. It's a bit, it's not as aesthetically pleasing as the battery ACO remote test switch, but I just, there's something about this, having it hardwired, I prefer, it looks, you know, it's a safety circuit. I, I just like this version. Why are your smoke detectors in three core from the consumer unit? Install one of these switches. That's why I wire them. That's how I wire them. That's how they're wired and that's how they work. Very straightforward. I don't know how I've managed to <laughs> drag it on for almost five minutes, but. <laughs>
a later edition and we're near and it's nearer the consumer unit rather than out in the house so you can run another three core from the board out rather than having to link it back in with the system